wins when the leader gets better. What? J. Pilar is so cool. That's one of the best quotes I've heard. Don't worry. I didn't invent it. I heard it from one of the best leaders that I look up to. His name is Craig Rochelle. He's a pastor and does a lot of things. To, you know, has small businesses out there. And, and I listen to his podcast every single week, month. Every time there's something new, I just consume it. I read his books. And, and he is um, leading one of the biggest churches in America. I'm really a big fan of his leadership. And I love this quote. When the first time I, I heard it, everyone wins when the leader gets better. I just like, whoa. And then I just kept on chewing the concept. My dear millennial leaders, guess what? You're not perfect. <laughs> you don't know everything just like I do. And that's totally fine. That is totally perfect. That is totally okay. But what is not okay if, if we stop growing, is if we stop learning, if we stop connecting to other people. As a leader, it is our job to get better. There is a concept by John Maxwell and in one of his books, it's called Law of the Lid. And if you're the top leader, or if you're the top leader, you are the lid of the organization. So for example, you're at nine, your people, the maximum level they can go to is eight. Because as the leader, you are the lid of the organization. So in your team also, whatever, small team you lead like if you're if you're like in your your small team you're at five and you can't expect your, your morale is at five you can't expect your team to be more energetic than you like they can be on a seven or eight because you are feeling so low so if you want the morale in your team to grow your problem solving skills your relationship skills you need to grow in it first because the leader sets the, sto sets the tone, sets the pace, sets the energy in every organization. So, like for example, um, in Kobe Bryant, he trains every day at 4 a.m. Um, not because he loves it, but because it is what's required us of the leader. You need to lead by example. So, where am I going? As a leader of any organization, any small project how are you getting better I need you to answer this with me very honestly write five things you need to get better at maybe for me let me start with I need to get better sleep I need to relax better I need to make more time um, reading the numbers I need to do more marketing. I need to even read more books. So these are the things I need to get better at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on growing at least 1% every year or every month. I'm just going to go push a little better. Why? Because your small pushes every single day of getting better will one day create a big avalanche of great things. You know, leadership is not tested on big things. It's tested with small things every single day. What are you going to go to work for? To What are you going to do? Are you going to be lazy or are you going to show up? Are you going to be lazy or are you going to show up? So you know what? When your team sees that you're getting better every single day, it can be as simple as shaving. You know what? I am lazy at shaving, but my team needs me to get better so I, I, I present myself better I, I shave I clean up I, I present myself better why because if they see their leader presenting themselves better himself or herself better they're gonna want to do that not maybe not at the 10 maybe just at the 9 but still that's getting better so can you make yourself better less crankier a little bit happier a little bit more understanding what do you need to do to get better and everyone would love to follow a leader that keeps on getting better. So again, it's okay if you don't know everything yet. But as long as you're growing, your team will grow with you. My name is Jay Paul Hernandez and thank you for, you know, thank you millennial leaders. I pray for your success. Grow and, and I hope that your team will grow even when there's a pandemic. Thank you so much. See you again in our next episode.